Hello everyone, this is Angie at Chicken Scratch and today is Tuesday, May 2nd and this is our 7 p.m. live video. If you can hear me, let me know. Oh, there goes the notification. Perfect. Okay, I'm just waiting for that first thumbs up or first comment. Yay, I see the thumb. I'm gonna mute my phone. Hi there, hi Lainey, Sandra, Denise, Julie. Okay, so we'll give everybody about a minute to get in here. Perfect, you can hear me. How are y'all doing? Thank you. Yes, a double dose. I have to say, I've run out of steam. Um, but that's okay. This is the last thing on my agenda for today. So, um, yeah, it's okay. Perfect. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, show my desk real quick and put my face in the corner. Um, so, I mentioned this morning or I guess at noon, uh, that I made the uh, no adhesive box larger. And here's the box. So originally when I shared this uh, project, someone had asked um, if three by three cards would fit in there. And I'm like, no, too little, but that's a great idea. So I got a couple emails about it, and so I thought, well, okay, let's go ahead and redesign this box now while I've got people asking instead of making y'all wait forever. So I did put this entire uh, package of 3x3 three three envelopes in there, but um, that's that makes it a little bit... Um, okay, I don't know why that's ringing. I got, do have a 3x3 three three card here, so... Here's the card, and then of course, these are the envelopes. I guess I should have maybe gotten, let me grab a couple of them. That way you can see how it fits. So this is the envelopes, and then that's the card. An undecorated card. Maybe I should show you a decorated card. How about that? Yeah, perfect, right? So the box measures, let's see. I have not done that yet. So the box measures three and a half by three and a half. And these are three by three. Okay, where's my comments? Where are y'all? I feel alone. There we go. Okay, so the size difference. What was this? This one measures um, like two and five eighths by two and five eighths. So I made it quite a bit bigger, but this is the perfect size um, to hold the three by three cards. And I call them mini cards because I don't, Three by three cards don't sound very cool. Let me know what y'all call three by three cards. Yeah. So for those of you that are sticking around tonight, um, I'm going to show you two ways to do this ribbon. So this is the first way that I'm going to show you. And then this is the other way I'm going to show you. And this ribbon is... Um, this is the ribbon that we're using. And I have to tell y'all, I'm a little bit wordy, so bear with me. But when the end colors came out, um, I looked at this color and I'm like, um, that's a color from the 70s and I'm never going to use it. Like, <laughs> it's kind of like way back umpteen years ago, I said I would never wear penny loafers. And yeah, I ended up wearing penny loafers and loving them. So... I always say that I eat my words often and I'm okay with that. So it's so ironic that when I went to make this project today, I chose Moody Mauve, the one color that I said I wasn't going to use in the new in colors. Like I love Pebbled Path and um, the Boho Blue, which y'all have seen me use both of those. But I didn't think I would use, but I really wanted to use the new Bubble Bath because people have been asking me questions about the Bubble Bath color which I love. So when it came time to make the, the box, I got the designer series paper, which is fresh as a daisy. It goes with the daisy bundle. 
And I'm like, wouldn't you know, this box is going to be, I'm going to use Moody Moth. So there you have it. And I didn't think I would actually be using wild wheat either. Um, and yeah, it's the perfect color for these flowers. Anywho, so are y'all ready to get started? I'm going to show you um, the link for instant prizes. Instant chick candy, I should say. Uh, we do have a new link. Um, so Cynthia says she calls the little 3x3 three three cards gift tags. Yeah. Gift enclosure tags, gift tags. You're right. Uh, here's the link for the instant prizes. And I'm going to put it in the comments now too. Oh, that's the wrong, oh, grr. Let me grab it real quick. I got lots of windows open on my screen here. Um, go to notes. Thank goodness for Evernote. I don't, I would not be able to survive without it. Okay, so if you're not familiar with instant prizes, if you've never done this before, in the comment section on Facebook and in the chat box on YouTube, there is a link that I'm posting right now. That's gonna take you to a Google form that you're gonna fill out. I don't retain your information. I don't keep it. I toss it after each event. All you're doing is entering to win instant prizes. And it does, hi Becky. <laughs> um, what was I saying? <laughs> I saw, I saw Becky. I was going to say I saw a squirrel, but I saw Becky. Um, what was I saying? Oh, Chick Candy. So if you go over there, fill out the form, I'm going to show you what those prizes are now. So I'm going to slide this down a bit. And um, instant prizes for tonight, because we already did instant prizes earlier today. Um, so tonight I'm giving away this blue fabric bag that I made with a chick stand. The other item, I'm giving away three instant prizes tonight, so that's one of them. And I'm giving away uh, packs, old packs of designer series paper. So all of these are retired, but hey, they're still good. And like I mentioned earlier today, I don't have an abundance of the new stuff yet because we were just able to order today. And then here is the third one. So just a collection of paper. I have done paper shares for years and years and years. So I've got quite the collection. Okay, so those are our instant prizes. Somebody remind me again. Um, to post that link in a little bit so that the new people that arrive will have the link because I'm going to remove it now, okay? There you go. Now, let me show you the measurements for the project. Here's all the supplies that I've got cut. I don't want to lose that ribbon because I want to... Y'all don't let me forget to show y'all how to do the ribbon the other way. There's two ways, okay? So here... Here's the supplies, and then I'm going to put the measurements on the screen for you. I will not be posting this on my blog tonight, and it will be tomorrow afternoon. Bella's got a grooming appointment in the morning. Um, so the blog post with all the measurements and everything will be tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. So here's the measurements for you. If you want to make this project tonight, just um, take a screenshot of the measurements or um, take a picture with your phone. I take a picture of so many things. It's a, it's, I couldn't live without my phone, right? My smartphone? Okay, so here's the paper that we're using. And this is actually the lid of the box. So originally today when I was making the box, I made it out of the Moody Mauve paper. And then this was gonna be the top. And then I was looking at it and I was like, man, that's not fancy enough. So then I decided to um, use the paper for the lid. So that's what we're doing. The only stamping that we're doing tonight is you made my day. <laughs> so it's a pretty, <laughs> not much stamping. And I went ahead and pre-cut these. So let me show you the dies. We're using two sets of dies, the Cheerful Daisies which is all of these and this. 
and then the stylish shape dies. So this is for that um, stitch circle behind the daisies, and this is for our greeting. Okay, hopefully I can stamp this straight. I have two just in case. I am using Ludi Mauve, and if you guys ordered the new in color ink pads, I will warn you this ink pad is very um, wet. So normally I tap three hard, three times kind of hard. Hi, Margie, did you get my message today that your scissors shipped out today? Um, so yeah, so lightly tap, lightly apply ink to your image. Okay. <laughs> I probably just, I probably just got too much ink. Okay. I have to put my head in the camera for a second. Ah, it's too far to the left. Please let me get it right this time. I don't want to have to cut another one. It's a little crooked, but we will call that one good. <laughs> okay, we're done with the ink pad. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna explain these um, pieces here. So in this die set, it's pretty fantastic. I do, if I if I do say whatever what's, what's the proper wording for that, I don't know. Um, these pieces they're embossed. <laughs> Juicy is what Deborah calls the new um, the new ink pads. Yes, they are very juicy. Um, these I don't can you see they're embossed. So you cut out your daisy. This is this is this is one die. And then you layer these on top to give it that embossed look. I just love it, love it, love it. Um, now I could have run these through using the um, adhesive sheets, but, grr. I'm always throwing stuff in the floor. Um, but I'm okay using my liquid glue. So I'm just gonna put a little bit. Are right, so do y'all love y'all's adhesive sheets or um, are you like me and you used to use the Xyron sheets and you just can't adapt to the new adhesive sheets? I just yeah, that's that's my issue. I think is I got so used to using the Xyron that. Um, Technically, off camera, that's what I use. Maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> um, now this one, let's see. I should have figured out where it was lining up before I put the glue on it. But if you're using liquid glue, the good thing about it is... Is that right? I think so. You can still move it if, unless it's until it dries. Okay, last one. Oh, upside down. Okay, that's done. Now we're gonna take the wild wheat, and this is the light Stampin' Blends. Okay, so we have some people that like the adhesive sheet. So the first thing I'm gonna do on this right here is go ahead and cut off this piece. Now you can leave it if you want, but it doesn't exactly fit where I want it to be. So, and you could color it with your Stampin' Blend marker. So watch this. Instead of, instead of cutting it out of cardstock, which is what I did beforehand, you could color it with your Stampin' Blend marker. We'll see which one we like better when we get to the point of assembling. 
Oh, I think I might like that one better. Um, oh, come back here, marker. I was like, what was I talking about? Where was I? I lost my place. You can tell I'm tired. Okay, so now I'm coloring the center of the daisy. Okay, see? Pretty neat, right? I don't need that anymore. So I think now we're ready. We've got all of our pieces. So we're ready to make the box. I don't want to throw anything else in the floor. You don't really need the mouse in here. So we're going to start with the uh, bottom of the box. Ugh, I can't get my simply scored out. Um, let's see. Let's slide all this over. Let's put this over here. Here we go. Now I'm going to put the measurements on the screen of where this is going to get scored. And I'll move this down. So this piece measures eight and a half by eight and a half. So thank goodness this worked because eight and a half is as big as this will go in one direction, right? It measures eight and a half by 11. So when I was making this box today, I was like, well, I can't go any bigger than eight and a half. So I'm like, okay, eight and a half by eight and a half. And luckily it worked perfect. Um, yeah, on my first go, this was... This was my um, template, and yes, it worked, thank goodness. Okay, one and a quarter and two and a half on all four sides. So, one and a quarter. Oh, this paper really needs the wax paper. If you don't, you're gonna jump the track. I don't know why. Okay, one and a quarter and two and a half. Ooh, now it glides like butter. One and a quarter by two and a half, one and a quarter, two and a half, one and a quarter, and two and a half. Okay, there's that one. So I'm gonna take that off the screen. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the lid. The top, huh, oh. Um, the top of the box measures, six and five eighths by six and five eighths. And now I'm gonna put the scoring measurements on the screen. So we're gonna score at three quarters and one and a half on all four sides. So three quarters and one and a half. Three quarters and one and a half. Three quarters. And one and a half. Did I jump the track? No. Three quarters and one and a half. There we go. I'm gonna put this back here because it's easier. So we're gonna fold on all the score lines and burnish with the bone folder. Thank y'all for giving me a thumbs up. Yes, that's a heart on my hand. Remember, well, no, you weren't here this morning for my, um, at noon I told the ladies that I love the little folk art heart that's in the crafting dies. And um, this is my little color pop heart thingy. It's washable, it comes off. I kind of move it around and put it in different spots. My daughter has them, too, and she sometimes puts them on her face. Of course, young people can get away with that. Y'all would laugh at me if I put a heart on my face, wouldn't you? Okay, so um, Deborah's asking about the wax paper. When you go to score cardstock, there's some cardstock that when you go to score it on the Simply Scored Scoring Tool, your tool jumps the track. And... My basic black cardstock does that every time. It always jumps the track. Unless you just rub your paper with wax paper and it just conditions it so that you don't jump the track. Yeah, it's it's a fabulous thing. <laughs> I have wasted so many pieces of paper um, 
because I didn't prepare it. Yeah, and not every paper needs it. Like the designer series paper didn't need it. Um, pool, this pool party need it? I don't know. It's just some paper does. Okay. Uh, we're going to cut now. And I'm going to do the same thing in all four corners. So I'm going to remove this part. And I'm going to do all four corners before I do the next step. So while I'm doing this, can I talk and work? Can I talk and do this at the same time? Um, I have two host codes now. I posted one on my blog. I've not posted the second one. Um, I'm going to be offering a stamp class every month using a host code. Um, and I'll show that um, image in just a little bit. So now what we're going to do is remove this outside block on all four corners, okay? So the outside block. Did y'all all get your order in today or some of you waiting until after tonight? Um, okay, that's what it looks like right now. So the next step is we're going to cut to that score line and then we're going to trim this tab or angle cut. I think on the um, instructions I normally say angle cut. So cut up to that score line and then angle cut this tab. We're going to turn it, do the exact same thing on this side. So cut up to that score line and trim tabs and then the same thing on this side and then we are done with the bottom of the box we'll go ahead and assemble it and then we'll work on the top so this just folds in so th again this is a um, no adhesive box okay but you can add adhesive if you want Okay, there's the bottom. Yay, all done. Now we're gonna work on the lid. Sorry, my, um, let me see if I can mute my watch. For some reason, my, um, my um, monitor that tracks my blood sugar is has lost its connection. I don't know why. It does that when it's really high, but not not losing its connection. It makes that beeping sound. I'm folding. Oh, I did. I didn't get a good score on that one. Hopefully that'll be okay. Maybe I did jump the track on that. I think we did all four sides. <laughs> now, cutting again. Now, um, cutting this one is a little bit harder because of the pattern of paper. So you're going to see me go back and forth sides trying to cut this because I don't want to mess up. And I better not mess up because I do not have another pack of this paper. So I got to be super careful about where I'm cutting this. This is what it's going to look like. Yeah, this is what it's going to look like. So I'm going to set this right in front of my face so that I don't mess up. Oh, and I forgot to take the screen, the, the measurements off. Sorry about that. Okay, let's see. I'll move this out of the way and put this here for anyone that happens upon us. Now, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to remove the corner on all four sides. So that's the first step. Remove those two. Okay. Now we want to remove that outside block just like we did on the bottom of the box.
I'm concentrating real hard. <laughs> oh, can't see. There we go. Okay, that's how it looks now. Um, eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter would work, but I think that your measurements might be a little bit different. Yeah, I would have to try it. Um, yeah, I'd have to try it. If we have time afterwards, I'll I'll uh, I'll see if it'll work. Y'all remind me. Okay, so I've cut up to that score line, and then I'm gonna angle cut the tab, and then the same thing on this side. Angle cut. If you somebody, um, well now let me go ahead and do this. If you're just arriving, here's the link to go enter to win the uh, instant prizes tonight. Okay, so we got, whoa, I almost cut the wrong spot. Same thing here. And then the last cut, and then we'll be able to assemble the lid. Okay, that's how it looks. The pretty side, okay? So the same thing, you're just gonna fold it in, does not need adhesive. Um, you might wanna add adhesive, but you don't have to. With the designer series paper, it's not as strong as the cardstock. So you could just use cardstock and, and then cover the cardstock with your designer series paper. Okay, let's see how this fits. So same way, it's a good, it's a good snug fit, right? Isn't it? Yeah. Now look, see the sides here? Can you see that? Uh -oh. I just muted this thing. Um, so Nancy is saying, oh, are y'all talking about the shipping? Yeah, I'm trying to be very transparent on the shipping. Uh, the shipping is like really, 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 really slow. Um, and yeah, it's really slow unless you pay for expedited shipping. I think they're having some staffing issues. Um, yeah, kind of facing the same problem that a lot of other places are uh, experiencing, right? Okay, back to the project. <laughs> um, I do not want to go down that rabbit hole. So we're gonna add the stitch circle just right in the middle and I'm just gonna use my liquid glue. Woo, goodness gracious, okay. <laughs> I don't need that anymore. And then for the daisies, we're gonna add those uh, with mini dimensionals because I don't want the um, adhesive to show through. Yeah, there. so a typical time frame right now is two and a half to three weeks. And I know that that is so not normal. Um, and I don't, I don't really know what else to say other than I'm sorry and if I could fix it, I would. But I, I wish it was different because it's like not only are my sales plummeting and dropping drastically, then now the shipping is slower than molasses. Um, okay, so back to this. I really, really, really like, so this is the, this is the one that I cut out using cardstock. Yeah, I cut that out using the cardstock, but this is the one that was attached to this piece, and I colored it with my Stampin' Blends marker, and I really like that subtle, uh, the subtleness of it a lot better. Yeah, 
Uh, Rebecca asked, are they going to be offering a special joining uh, for the kickoff of the new catalog? I've not heard of any joining special. I wish, but I haven't heard of anything. Yeah, it's still $99 and you get $125 in product of your choice. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the backing to the uh, mini dimensionals and attach this because we have, I have got to show you the ribbon. Some of y'all already know how to do it, but I bet a bunch of y'all do not. Now for this one, I'm just gonna add a little bit of liquid glue on the back. You could use your adhesive sheet on this too if you wanted to, but the liquid glue works really well. It just has to dry. So once it's, once it's dry, it sticks really well. And then the greeting is going to go down here. And I also used mini dimensionals on that. Okay, come here. Now, I did add Wink of Stella to the daisies. You can't really see it on camera, but I did just add some shimmer because I thought it needed a little bit, bit, a bit of bling. A little bit of bling, did I say that right? Okay, now for our ribbon. Looks good, right? Which do y'all prefer? Do you prefer the cardstock or do you prefer the one that I did with the, um, the blends. Okay, so let's get the ribbon. Now I'm gonna show y'all, uh, when I was designing this box today, I first tried um, the wild wheat. And that would work um, if, you, if you like that color. And then I tried this and it just wasn't floating my boat. Like I was like, uh, oh, the ribbon's a little too, too big. So then I tried uh, the wild wheat in the little frayed ribbon, and I thought that looked cute, but I still, it still didn't float my boat. I also tried a number of other greetings. So I used, um, I did a white embossing powder, and I embossed one of the other greetings in the stamp set. So I thought that was cute, but I couldn't make it fit on here with the ribbon. I tried adding the greeting to that, it didn't work. I tried doing that and it it just seemed like too much white. So um, now I'm gonna show you how I came about the ribbon. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to slide all of this over because um, I need to get a special tool to show you. So I'm gonna remove my grid paper real quick and grab my fancy tools here. Okay, so um, here's my ribbon and I'm just gonna whack that much. Whack, I mean cut. Um, I told David this morning, I said, listen, I've been, I've been um, filming live for a very long time. I've been on YouTube since 2007, and I never, I never come on here and say, hey, y'all, um, which is, I'm from the South, and I do, all, I do say, hey, y'all, a lot to, to my friends, and when we go down to the lake house, it's, hey, y'all, to everybody. Um, and I told David this morning, joking, I said, I'm going to say, hey, y'all, tonight. And he's like, are you sure you want to? And I said, heck, yeah. And then I was like, no, I won't. I'll scare people off. But one of these days, I might start. Because um, that is really what I say to real people. Not that y'all are not real. You know what I mean? That don't make much sense to y'all. In person, that's what I say, not online. <laughs> um, okay, so you can see this ribbon looks like it's a little crooked. So 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm lining up the edge and then I'm taking my rotary cutter, rut row, my ruler shifted. <gasps> Grr, I'm gonna have to stand. Let me do that again. See, I can't use a rotary cutter without standing. I have to stand, because you gotta put all your strength in it. Am I cutting my head off? A little bit. Um, you just say, <laughs> I know, real people. <laughs> I'm going to get flamed for that one, I bet. Just you wait. Um, no, they probably won't even watch the video. The haters won't watch this much of the video. They get angry real quick in the very beginning and then, then, and then sign off and leave nasty comments, right? Okay, rotary cutter. I'm just cutting the edge off, okay? See? So there's the edge of one side. Now... I'm going to turn this thing, which is why I'm using this. I use this tool a lot for sewing or for cutting fabric squares. And then now I'm going to do the other side. And that gives me my other piece. So um, this little piece, this little bow here that I did, that's those two edges, okay? So I'll show you the next part. I'm gonna move all this out of the way because I don't need it anymore. I'm gonna set back down and show you how to get this. <laughs> Y'all are never gonna let me forget the whole real people thing, right? <laughs> oh, okay, let's put this back in here. Put all my pieces in here so everybody can see what we're doing. <laughs> um, okay, so now I've cut the left and the right off. And then the next step, if I got on my hand, looks like dust or dirt or something. Um, so what you're going to do is you're just going to start pulling apart the thread. And because you removed okay so you're gonna ask me how long does it take you to do this a few minutes it's not a quick process but I've done this before you guys have seen it on like one of my Halloween projects like umpteen years ago, a long time ago. Um, but you will see it. You, you, you will see this frayed ribbon on my, um, on my blog. I don't remember the project, but I remember, I remember it being a Halloween project. I might even have a video on how to, how to fray ribbon. I think I might. I don't know. If I do, it's going to be like <laughs> 12 years old. I don't know. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just getting pieces and then you're going to line them all up like that. I'm trying to make this go faster, but I think the faster you try to go, the slower it goes. So just, I don't know, take your time. Okay, there's that one. It's worth the effort, because it's really, don't you think it's worth the effort? Worth the, did I say that right? <laughs> okay, so Rita says she remembers the frayed ribbon. Okay, good. Okay, so I think we have enough. So all these bits and pieces here, just garbage. So I'm gonna scoop them up, get them out of the camera view. Don't need that anymore. I do have a trash can here, so I'm not putting it in the floor. Okay, so here is my piece that we're gonna tie the bow. Okay. 
Now we have to give it a haircut. And we want to trim any of those crazy, I call them crazy hairs. It's threads, but you want to trim them and clean them up. And like I said, if it was a Halloween project, you could just leave it all crazy. Look how cute that is, though. Don't you love it? Whack. And then now we just have to get it to the right size that we want. I think that's pretty good, right? And then the two sides that we cut off, um, you don't even have to use both of them. You could technically, now we do have the new in color uh, jute twine in the catalog that you can now order, um, but I don't have it yet because I just ordered it today. So I'm like, I'd really need it today, but we don't have it. So you can either do a double bow with the sides or you can do a single bow. And now we're just gonna add this to the box with a mini glue dot. And I'm actually gonna use my take your pick tool because I don't, um, I don't wanna pull apart my bow, which is possible. So I'm gonna wad up the glue dot and put it right on the edge here and then place my bow on top. And if these wiry looking pieces bother you, just trim them out, just cut them, whack them, right? Smush, smush. Okay, this one's a little, um, this one's a little messier than my original, but this is that always the case when you're filming live, right? So do y'all like that? Like the um, the ribbon? I just felt like this was too big, right? Thank you. I can't wait to get my new product. Yes. Um. Let's see. Cut off shorts. <laughs> Uh, Cam, this is the Moody Mauve uh, textured ribbon. This is the ribbon that we could pre-order. Yeah, we could order the all the new in color um, ribbon. Um, I love it. I think it's. I mean, I think this one is a little crazy. It needs to be trimmed a little bit more, but. And again, for those that are that arrived late, it's gonna hold your three by three uh, mini cards, and it measures three and a half by three and a half. Okay, so I'm gonna um, do some housekeeping. It's not really housekeeping. That doesn't sound sound fun. I need to come up with a better term. So my current host code is right here. So if you place a minimum $50 order, you get to choose either the ombre matte decorative dots or your color, your choice, your choice of color for Stampin' Blend markers. Um, yeah, so that's my current host code. I also am adding another host code. So I'm going to have, um, for, the, from, for the rest of the year, every month I'm going to have a stamp class. And you're going to get the, the class packet for free if you use this host code and you place a minimum $40 order. If you place a $50 order, you'll get the class packet and ribbon or the embellishment. So it'll be either or. Um, I'm gonna post this information tomorrow. I did not get it posted on my website today, but the class packet is only gonna be good from May 2nd through 30th. So every month I'll start it typically on the 1st, but the catalog didn't go live until today. So I'll typically start it on the first of the month and then end it like the day before the end of the month. So that way I can order the material, get everything in and cut everything. Um, whoops, let me take that off the screen. Card Club is, we're still taking registration for May. We're using the Zany Zoo and our dead, your deadline is May 5th. I probably should write that on there, right? 
Okay, I'm gonna show y'all the YouTube Chick Candy now and then explain how to enter to win. Is this, nope, that's not it. Let me find it. Uh, YouTube Chick Candy. Mm, right here. Okay, so tonight, uh, not tonight. Yes, tonight or tomorrow. When the video ends, the comment section on my YouTube video will be open. Right now, it's just the chat box. So when the video is over, the comment section will open up and the way you enter to win is leave a comment on this video on YouTube. So not my blog, not Facebook, over on YouTube on this video, which is, what's the name of this project? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. What is the name of this project? I named it and I can't see the screen. Mini, mini card box, I think. Mini card box, yeah. Um, so, Rhino Ready Stamp Set and Dies, Country Gingham Paper, and the Green Fabric Basket with a Chick Stand. And I will draw the winner on Thursday morning. Um, and that here again, um, Rhino Ready Stamp Set and Dies, Country Gingham Paper, and then the Fabric Basket with a Chick Stand. When I was making the Fabric Baskets for, um, for that, that special I offered a few weeks ago, I made a couple extra so that I could give them away. Now for our instant prizes, I'm gonna share the link one more time for, y'all are still there, right? Are y'all still there? Yeah. One more time, I'm gonna share the link for the instant prizes, and then I'm gonna show them to you, and then we're gonna draw the winner. So the first name is gonna get this basket and a chick stand. And if you, whoever wins this, if you don't want it, you don't have to accept it. Same thing with the other gifts. If you guys send me an email and say, hey, can I have something else? I'll give you paper. I'll give you designer series paper. Because um, I know not everyone's into fabric, okay? So if I draw your name, you don't want it, no hard feelings. Because there's a lot of people that do want it. So that's number one. And then the second one is this paper pack. And the third one is this one. So Kathy wants to know where do I post the winners. You know what? Let me show you because this will make this will make sense to everybody. It's a visual thing. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you uh, where I post the winners. Okay. So let me click on share my screen. Okay. So here's my blog. You see my blog. Last. Tuesday, we made the squeeze top box. So that was the last YouTube chick candy that I offered. So if you go to that project, which was last Tuesday's, you go below the video box, and right here you'll see last week's winner. I always post them under the video box, because see, here's the video, and then here's the, the printable, here's the box template, um, and then Here's the YouTube Chick Candy winner. So every time I announce YouTube Chick Candy, I will post the winners on that project on my blog. Okay? Does that make sense? Hopefully. Um, let's see. Yes, I have a video for the baskets. Absolutely. Um, let me grab that real quick. They're super easy, they're very addictive, so much fun. I I love to just sit and sew, not like, I actually will like binge watch like something on Netflix and, um, and sit and sew. Okay, copy. I don't know if I can reply to your actual comment, but I'll put it in the comment section. So, uh, Christine, Here's the link to the fabric basket post. It has measurements of video and everything. Okay, so are y'all ready? Have y'all entered to win? Let me go pull up the form real quick and see how many people have, um, let me close a couple windows real quick. I got like 5,000 windows open. Well, not really, but, um, okay, responses. Well, 
Hopefully y'all are not in a hurry because I'm having a hard time be getting it to pull up. This happened one other time, didn't it? Let me hit Command R. Let me refresh my screen. Here we go. We have 138 responses. Okay, so I'm fixing to turn it off because I have discovered that when I let it continue accepting resp um, responses or entries, it messes up, it messes everything up. So I'm so sorry, I am clicking no longer accepting responses and boom, it is done. So now I'm gonna copy all the names, which is 140 names. Okay, hold on just a second because it's telling me that it won't let me copy and paste all 140, but it did let me go into a spreadsheet. So let me see if it'll let me copy them this way. Goodness gracious. Okay. Command C. Now let me go over to Wheel of Names. Let me just put this here. Okay. Now I gotta delete last week, or not last week's, this morning's. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen now so that y'all can see. What was that noise? Um, y'all can see that there's no entries here. So I'm fixing to paste all 140 names in here. I gotta remove the first name and last name because that was the title of the, the call, or Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, so here we go. The first winner is gonna get the blue fabric basket with a chick stand. Man, that font is so tiny, I can't even read it. Uh, Melissa French. I'm writing her name, hence the reason why it's taken me a couple seconds there. So I'm gonna remove, the next one is a paper pack. Debbie, <laughs> V-E-V-E-R-K-A. And I will show these prizes again in just a minute once we get the final winner. And one more name. Sandra G-O-U-G-H. Okay, remove. Now I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and I'm gonna recap those prizes. Okay, so Melissa, you won the fabric basket and the chick stand. If you don't want that, let me know and I'll send you some designer series paper. Debbie won this pack of uh, designer series paper and Sandra won this one, okay? The other prizes will be drawn on Thursday. So now we just have some time for uh, questions, some Q&A. So if you have a question, uh, use the comment section and um, I'll be here for, until the questions stop. Yeah, David's at a bass meeting tonight. So it's just me and Miss Bella. So I'm not in any rush. I wanna scroll to the bottom. Um, yes, congrats to all the winners. Sometimes I forget to say that, so sorry. Yes, congrats to all y'all. Oh, the form, that's what I'm forgetting. I need y'all to give me your address. So here it, wait, that's last week's winners. Um, here we go, here's the URL. Let's see, can I put it down here? Can y'all see that? That J is almost invisible, isn't it? Oh, there we go. So for those of you that won, there's the link. You know, I can also put that in the, um, hold on, I'm gonna copy and put it in the comments. Command C. Command C. 
Command V. Okay, so for those that won, there's the form for you to fill out to claim your prize. Uh, Patty says that she loves the size of the box. You're very welcome, Patty. Thank you. Um, yeah, Shauna, thank you for reminding me to tell them how to claim their prizes. Sometimes I don't fire on all cylinders. It's like, <laughs> and this link does stay the same because if you go over on my blog, um, where do I have it posted? Maybe I don't have that real visible of how to claim it. Well, probably because I don't have it real visible because I have a lot of people claiming prizes that didn't win a prize. Yeah. <laughs> um, of what I ordered today, what was my favorite? Um, what was my favorite was probably the animal stamp set, the dream one. I mean, y'all know I absolutely love animals. The little bird. So Little Dreamers Bundle was probably my most favorite. And then the bird, where's that bird set? Right here, oh, the chickens, no, the chickens, the chickens and the dreamers, the dreams. Yes, I love this. And then this little bird set, it's so cute. I mean, they don't look anything like Elvis Gizmo or Skittles, but they're still very cute birds. This, the glasses on this bird just cracks me up. I love it. Uh, Sandy wants to know, does the Stampin' Up! ink refill get old? I've never had one get old, but our um, ink pads are not lasting as long as our old ones. So... Not necessarily the ink refill, but the ink pads. They do not they do not last like 10 years like the old ones. Of course, what does anymore? Cars don't, refrigerators don't, washers and dryers don't. I don't think anything is made to last a really long time anymore. Um, okay, so I don't know what y'all are talking about on the Just Jade ribbon. I'll see if I can find that comment. Oh, Debbie says she's never, she never wins. Yay. You know, Debbie, you're not the only one that says that. I actually, I actually have a lot of people that tell me they never won anything anywhere. Um, and I love giving stuff. So as long as I can afford to give, I'm going to. Uh, okay, let's see. Can I show the bow up close? Barb, if you're still here, which bow did you want to see up close? This one? And here's the uh, the wild wheat one. Hopefully you're still here. Yeah. I think that's what you wanted to see up close, right? If not, let me know. Leave another comment. Uh, yes, don't forget to like my video and... Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> uh, Ramona says a while ago I shared where I got my um, bracelet. I will share that again too. Yes, I'll leave it in the comment section. And if you don't see it in the comment section, let me know. Um, because I can email it to you too. Yeah. Oh, because sometimes I remove... Sometimes I leave the comments, the chat box up, and sometimes I hide it. And um, sometimes if conversations go, sometimes if there's some, sometimes if people are on there trying to solicit to get business, I hide it. And then sometimes there's spammy people that just post random stuff, so I hide it. So it just depends on how the conversations, um, yeah. How the conversations have gone as to whether I leave the chat box up or not. Somebody did ask me that once, but only one person has ever asked me. I thought that's I'm surprised more people have not asked me why. Um, okay, I'm trying to get you the link to this bracelet, but it's not letting me. Hold on. Give me a second. Here we go. I love this bracelet. In fact, guess what? This is my second one. 
they're not cheap, by the way. They're not cheap. But I will tell you this. This thing never comes off. I never, 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 never take it off except for when I have to have MRIs. They make me take it off then, but I never take it off. This is my second one. And uh, I already bought my third one because I know eventually I'm going to break it because like I said, I never take it off. So here's that link, Command V, return. Yeah. So that random Amazon link is to the, to the bracelet, to the cross bracelet. And this ring is actually the matching ring to that, to that um, bracelet. Yeah, it's the matching ring. And this is my second of these rings because eventually it, it breaks. You can, you can see the seam in this one right there. And yes, I've already bought the third one at that one too. <laughs> um, the frayed one. Do you want to see this one? This one's a little not perfect. Let's hold this one up again. Yeah, that's the bow. I love it. Okay. Um, yeah, we're not allowed to ship product out of the U.S., so that's unfortunate. Um, and I wish we could, but we can't. Yeah, we're not allowed uh, to ship out of the United States. And other demonstrators that are in other countries are not allowed to ship out of their country either. Uh, Becky wants to know what, uh, what stamp, what the greeting is from. It's from the Cheerful Daisies. And you ordered that today. So you're going to have that. Yeah, there's four greetings. Your friendship means everything. Wishing you the brightest birthday. Oops, a daisy, so sorry. And you made my day. And I did try to use this one and this one, but... I just couldn't make it work. Like, you know, I did the, I did this one. I embossed it with the white embossing powder. Um, and then I used, yeah, I tried, but this one is what I ended up with. Okay. Um, so Pamela says she has a few of the original Stampin' Up! stamp pads and they still work great. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. You know, I still have uh, the kid. Do you remember the kid ink pads? I still have those. Um, Lori, there is a form over on my website. I will say this. I did not ship catalogs to people this year that, that have not ordered from me recently. My sales have... Not that I want to talk about this, but my sales have plummeted. So not just dropped, not just decreased. And I know other demonstrator sales have increased, but I'm just saying mine have decreased to the point. I can't send catalogs to the people that are not ordering. So I feel really bad, but at the same time, just to ship this catalog, not the cost of it, is $8. Because priority mail shipping is over $8, and I can't do it anymore. Um to people that are not ordering from me. So, yeah, sorry. Not to talk about the negative stuff. Um, Kathy says, instead of housekeeping notes, uh, how about I call it chick deals? <laughs> That's cute. Uh, Laura Ann said that she knew I would buy that one because of Olivia. Oh my gosh, by the way, we saw Olivia on Sunday. Let me see if I have a decent picture. Um, we saw her on, um, Sunday, we came, drove back from the lake house. We had to go down there and do some, some work and we stopped by and saw her and oh my gosh, she just, ah, oh, she is so big. Okay. Why is this not coming up? Oh my goodness. Look, here's one of her and Chase. Look, look how big she is. Isn't that the cutest picture? It makes me almost want to cry. I'm so proud of him. He's such a good daddy. He really is. Most of my stuff that I get from them, though, are videos. So y'all don't want to sit here and watch a bunch of videos. She loves this little uh, jumper thing. Um, so now... I have one in my house. Chase has one at his house. And then Jessica's parents have one at, 
at their house. She absolutely loves that little thing. Okay, I got to go back to comments. Y'all don't want to sit here and listen to me talk about... Um, Olivia all night, although I could. <laughs> when I have to tell y'all one more thing though. Um, when I walked in on Sunday and I said, hi, I, I'm very animated and I make a lot of facial expressions. You already know that, right? After watching me live. Um, but as soon as I said hi, she just grinned ear to ear. And every time I said hi, same thing. She just grinned ear to ear. And I never, I didn't take a single picture of her. The last two times I've been down there, I didn't take a single picture because I spent every minute holding her. And it's like, she's so heavy. I think she's 19 pounds. I cannot handle my phone and her. She is so big. And she's only seven months old. Uh, Kathy, if you're still here, I do still sell my chick stands. Absolutely. If you're over on my website, um, you should be able to see it. Yeah. Someone asked for my email address. I'm going to put it on the screen real quick. There you go. There's my email. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, so Mary says, when we joined Stamp Club, you said if you're six months, something would happen. What is that something? So Mary... When you're in Stamp Club for six months consecutive, you get $25 in product that I'll send to you. And then if you're in, um, it's Card Club actually, right? Card Club. Oh my gosh, I just got a thumbs down. <laughs> um, That was <laughs> right when I said that. Uh, Tracy, there is no new host paper. No. Yeah, so if you're in Card Club for six months, you get $25 in product. And if you're in Card Club for a year, I'm going to be offering you a drawstring bag or a fabric basket. Yeah. Um, and I'll share more of those details. But it has to be consecutive. So if you do one month and skip a month and then come back three months later, it don't count. It starts all over again. It has to be consecutive. I'm trying to do everything I can to keep my customers with me because I know... People shop around, and since my sales have decreased, I'm trying to find ways to keep my people happy. And what's it called? Retention, right? Uh, yeah, so there is no host paper this time. Sad face. I'm really sad about that, especially because I don't really like the host stamp sets. Yeah, so no host paper. Um, I was going to try that... Um, Eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. If I missed your question, if you if you um, posted a question and I missed it, send me an email. There's my email on the screen. Um, hey, Stephanie, I didn't see you earlier. Um, I'm going to try that measurement, that eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter, just so I can see what it would do. Because she asked if that would work because... I'm going to use the retired soft succulent because that's what I use today. People ask, what do you, what do you do with your um, retired paper? I used it to, to make my box templates. And Deidre, ask about this real quick. She asked for me to show it again. It's called ColourPop. And I got it. It's Heart Face Stamp by ColourPop. I got it at Ulta, but I will tell you, I think they might, I think they might not be making them anymore. I don't know. I tried to find someone, one of y'all has a pink heart and I tried to get a pink heart. I can't find it anywhere. Yeah. Okay. So, um, eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Where's my paper trimmer? Is it not here? Well, oh, it's over there in, in, on the other side of the room, so I'll use this one. Okay. So, eight and a quarter... 
You know, the only catch is, is um, we'll have to figure out the measurement for the, for the lid, and I don't really know what that measurement will be. Let's see, where's my Simply Scored? So our measurement earlier for the eight and a half by eight and a half was one and a quarter, one and a quarter by two and a half, one and a quarter by two and a half, one and a quarter, two and a half, one and a quarter, two and a half. So that gives us, oops. So that would make this box three and a quarter inches. Yeah, so that would make your box three and a quarter. So it would work, but I don't know if the, um, it would fit. Let's see if the envelope will fit though. No, well, Barely, yeah. You could use 12 by 12 paper though, right? Do y'all have 12 by 12 paper over there? It's so strange how our measurements are different. Okay, I'm gonna look for a couple more questions and then I'm gonna sign off. Um, oh, that's a nice thing. Most demos will email you a tutorial when you win. Most of my tutorials are free though. Yeah, most of mine are free. All my PDFs are free. All my box templates are free. Most of my printables are free. Um, oh, wow. It's probably because of the cost of shipping, yeah. The cost of shipping is really expensive. Uh, can you post the fabric basket link again? Sure. Let's see. Here is my post. Here we go. So copy. Okay, I'm posting it now. There's the link to the fabric basket. Now that's the larger, not the biggest size, but that's the, the medium size one. So this, this one that I'm giving away tonight is a smaller one. So Mary says deduct one eighth inch from your score measurements if you use the eight and a quarter square. Um, so Vicki says just change the score lines. So on, on this one, just change your score lines. <laughs> and Vicki, now I'm gonna say, uh, <laughs> that would be another, that would be like, um, I can't believe I actually come up with this today. Don't ask me how. Like, I, I still don't even know how I came up with that. Like, I did, but I couldn't tell you how I did it. Um. Yeah, I don't even know how I did it. Like sometimes my brain works and sometimes it just doesn't. So the fact that this lid fit, um, I think what I did is I figured, here's what I did. I figured out the measurement of this, of this space. So like I said, this space here was three and a quarter. So what I figured was the space of this some of y'all may not even want to know this. So the space of the bottom of the box was three and a half. So then I needed three and a half in the, in the top. And then I needed to add three quarters and three quarters, I think. Let's see. Yeah, three quarters and three quarters. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. So... Three and a half plus three quarters plus three quarters and then three quarters and three quarters. And you add all that together and that gives you six and five eighths, 
right? Yeah. <laughs> so Vicky says score on this one at one and an eighth and two hey two and three eighths. Okay. Isn't it so cute? It makes me so happy. I have a whole collection of them. And then I have just this one, the, just the solid pink one. I love pretty stuff and I love pink stuff. Um, okay, let's see. Thank you, Vicki. Okay, so you saw Vicky's comment. Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks, Leslie. So Deb says there's a pack of 48 sheets, but it's called Delightfully Ec Eclectic. You know, when I looked at that, it's not host paper, but I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. Uh, so on page... Um, 129 this pack of paper comes with 48 sheets so those of you that purchased my paper shares um i know some were confused by the number of sheets you got for this versus the other ones and um it's because of this pack of paper so you're getting more of that in the paper share um but yeah i can't see like i don't see any pool party in there i don't see um, granny apple green or like my favorite colors yeah so I don't know if I'm gonna like it yet but sometimes when I get paper and see it in person I have a completely different opinion about it you know what I mean sometimes I don't like the A side and I really like the B side um, there's a lot of bright paper this time yeah a lot of brights I'm more of a subtles yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to sign off. My stomach is starting to growl. I'm hungry. Um, let me just check one more time and see if there's any last minute questions before I sign off. I will tell y'all, watch my blog or however you follow me because I will be going live with my pre-order. My, not my pre-order, my new order haul. And I did pay for expedited shipping because I qualified for some free product and I used that. Um, it was kind of my way of saying, okay, I'm going to pay for expedited shipping since I got that in free product. So yeah, no, David's out at a meeting tonight. He's actually at a bass meeting. So I actually have to go cook my dinner. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to have peanut butter and a banana or peanut butter and an apple. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I am going to be going live whatever day my order arrives. I can't tell you right now because even though I ordered it expedited, it might show up Thursday and it might show up Friday. I don't know. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I'll probably share it on Friday, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. So, yeah. I will be going live again this week if you want to see my haul. Uh, Stephanie, I ordered the typewriter set today, and I said I wasn't sure if I was even going to order or use the typewriter, but I was going to use the other bits of that stamp set. Um. <laughs> Michelle, did you see that you won something? Did I already ship your gift? Are you still here? I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Mont Montemora? You won something the other day. Okay, I'm going to sign off. I could rattle on forever. Y'all have a good night. Thank you so much for being here.